Welcome back, Tau Flater folks. Jeff and the OG out here. Hey, we realized that sometimes one slug is not enough, so Warwolf was kind enough to send us double slugs. You remember Warwolf in the past? They sent us some cool shirts, and they've sent us some pretty uh, badass shirt. slugs. You didn't get a shirt? No. Oh, I got a cool shirt. You got the shirt. Today I'm wearing my Kentucky Ballistic shirt, which the. And he were... did send me a shirt. <laughs> so he took care of you, huh? He got. Well, he sent one to Doug and Danny too. The so. Warwolf shirt is one of the coolest shirts I have. It has a pretty badass logo on it. You can see their logo right here. They sent us this double slug. However, it's got two. Count them two. Two, red. two, 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 two. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> this is legal in certain parts of California. They've got two uh, Lyman slugs inside. These are red coated. I think they call them their uh, FSJ coated. That probably costs more if it's F if it's got a name to it. But it's a um, seven eighths ounce slug. So we're gonna, two of them. Two of them. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> There's double. Double is Latin. Oh, okay. Double is Latin for two. Okay. <laughs> and it's got a little uh, what do you call that? A little shot card or a spacer or something in between. Yeah, a little wadding. A little wadding in between the two balls. I how you know? I mean, will they fly? I don't know. I'm trying to picture in my mind how they'll fly. Will they fly together? Will they separate? Well, we're going to try some up close for you guys to see what they do up close. But we're also going to send some out at a distance, 35, 40 yards, yeah. to see what kind of spread we get if you were to use these at uh, for any kind of a, a defensive round. So better okay. than the, better than the standard uh, one dollar Walmart Foster slug. You be the judge. You decide. Okay, we're shooting at a big spotlight thing that doesn't work anymore, but hey, when it becomes junk, it becomes a target. <laughs> That's my philosophy. So everyone, watch your junk. Yes. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Here we go. Oh my goodness, that had some impressive recoil. I mean, painful. Woo! Uh, maybe not quite to the pain threshold, but it uh, gave me a good thump. Okay. Well, the accuracy looked really good. You can see that the slugs are just starting to separate at that range, which is only about 10 yards away, or 30 feet, or 9.1 meters. The velocity, based on our previous test with Warwolf's ammo, is probably around 1,250 feet per second. So check this out, right through the dead center, in the lens, right out the back. And there goes Jeff working while I'm talking on the camera. The orange snowman. Okay. <laughs> One slug per dot. dot. Shot number two was very similar to shot number one. Uh, just a slight separation at that range. Gives you an idea that uh, Warwolf uses pretty tight tolerances when they're loading up their ammo when you get similar results like this. This is definitely lead from the slug on top of the lead plate because it's still painted red, but it just fused itself right in there. The aluminum block. Here we go. Oh, that thing Man. Just sings. It's so loud. It's it's louder than the shot. All right, this camera shot with the focus set just a little bit ahead of the target by mistake, by mind you, but it gives you a really clear uh, shot of the slugs flying kind of in formation. Aim it for the blue square right here. The two red balls hit right there, just slightly apart from each other. Not a ton of spread, but that's a good sign at that distance, actually. You don't want them flying completely apart. Yeah, not bad. So, and you can tell kind of by the angle there that it didn't dig real deep into that aluminum block. Not much does. Not much does. Aluminium block. Okay, gallon jug of water. There you go. Wow. That's cool. You hear that zing? Zinging off there to endanger small children in that orphanage right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, shot number four, the slugs again are very close together, haven't quite separated yet. So what we'll do, we'll shoot at uh, triple the distance, 30 yards, and see if we get any greater separation. We're about 30, 30 yards away. Sink the pink, here we go. Okay, I am ready. Wow, look at that. Oh, we had... It's got two bad guys in one. At 30 yards, we had about 10 inches of separation, which is not bad at all. Look at the slug of the right. It looks like it's uh, a little bit flattened out on the nose a little bit. That's probably the rear slug, and that's caused by the 10,000 Gs of acceleration from the front slug slamming into the back slug. So okay. would, th would these be viable for home defense? First of all, if you've got a house that's got a 30 yard distance, congratulations. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nailed the pink dot. So if you had bad guys coming in your front door and they were stuck really close together, <laughs> you got two of them. The slugs appear to be flying true when they That's hit. not a bet. If you, if, you, if you shot that with regular double buck buckshot, the spread would probably be oh, least, 24 yeah. inches or something like that yeah. at that range. That's a pretty tight hold. Problem is you don't ever know where this odd slug is going to go. Yeah. What is, is it going to hit high, low? Are they both going to hit next time right here? Yep. Away? So, but still pretty impressive that we were able to hit the actual target we were aiming for. Not bad, not when bad. You, when you can sink it in the edge of the pink, it's all right. <laughs> so as with any slug, and with some skinny girls, you got to worry about over penetration with slugs if you're going to use them for home defense. So, but two of them flying uh, through your living room <laughs> ought to work out pretty good. Well, we're going to give full 30 another try. A lot of you didn't realize I was over on full 30 for over a year. Now they told me they made a lot of improvements to make the experience for not only the creators but also the users better. And this is just a quick update on the latest patrons. Uh, again, thank you guys for your support. So far this month the ad rates that they're paying us is half of what they were last month, believe it or not. It's just getting worse. And without you guys supporting us, we'd be ready to quit. We'd probably uh, make more money picking up aluminum cans on the freeway. <laughs> Thanks again.